crafty friends <laughs> welcome back to my channel and i am so blessed this is a sunday i went to church this morning and one of my good friends was there and she said she had went to this auction and only one person was there to bid on stuff and he got a whole um I don't know what you call it, storage place for like $75. And all he wanted in there was the furniture. And she said he was throwing all this stuff in the garbage. So she went in the garbage and she grabbed it out for me. But beautiful, beautiful papers. Um, these are um, some of the things. Are, they're handmade scrap papers. They've never, it doesn't look like they've been open. I'm just like take this plastic off of it but she was showing me some of them and they are they are beautiful papers beautiful beautiful papers so I mean I think I've seen these in stores before but not in a in a pack like this so I don't know like how old this stuff is but and I hear, you can open them with me. <laughs> oh, here's some really pretty textures and gorgeous, gorgeous papers. So I don't know where they're from. They say they're um, from the USA. Glitter. I'm going to have so much fun with this stuff. It's just beautiful. And then this, EnviroPapers.com, Art, Material, and Trade. This is from 2001 to 2002. So these are where all these papers come from, I guess, that come in these packs at Walmart and stuff. I mean, look at this. That's awesome. I'm so glad she got them all out for me. Just all these different papers. Look at that one. It's like a, a sample book for a store or something because there's like prices for the 20 by 30 pages, 100 GSM. I'm just beautiful 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 like rose petals are just coming up off the page wow i am so incredibly blessed today love it love those i love that color this blue mints <laughs> look at this it's got little like glitter things so pretty wow those look like they're tie-dyed incredible and then there's this packet it says tan silk paper i want to open it up and feel it i just want to open up all of it Okay, let's I'll get my scissors in here. Okay. I don't want to damage the paper. Okay, let's Oh my gosh. Okay. There's a top piece on top of the cardboard right here. Wow. Look at that. That one piece, it's really thick. That is so pretty. Oh, am I getting enough light over here? Maybe that help? I don't know. That's beautiful. And I got a whole pack, 25 sheets in there. And this is decorative Thailand papers. So you can see the sample of all the different ones in here. That's beautiful. Three of each sheet, acid-free, 21 sheets. 
price on it says $15. I'm pretty sure that's from, from a while back. And then I got these little things. I don't know what I can use them for, but I will use them. Probably for journaling cards or something. But this is gray. Looks black to me. Oh, it has different different colors of gray, like shades all the way. And they're they're like matte board. Pretty thick. I use them for frames or covers. Like if you did um that one's really thick. Like a three ring binder. Those are awesome. Those are in gray, and then yeah, these are mounting boards right here. What color is this? Oh, no. These are different, different colors. Huh. Why are they like samples? I think they're samples. It must have been somebody's store, like an art store. And they have all these samples. This one's Art Brush Studio Board. Art Brush Studio Board. Yeah, look at the thickness. Hmm. I'll find a use for them. <laughs> and if I don't, I'll give them away. I don't know. That'd be fun. There's some watercolor board. Let's see. Oh yeah, I like the texture. I like the texture. Premium watercolor. It's awesome. Awesome. Yeah, I'm pretty sure these are like samples. They're like $2.50 <laughs> for samples. Oh, so let me show you the rest of stuff. I got more stuff. I've never seen these before. This is why I think it was like a some samples. They're beads on cards. Like I could cut all those off and use the beads or I could make like cards out of them, but I think they're, they got, yeah, they're selling on there. So I got all these sheets of beautiful beads, all different sizes, not very many of each color, but still. Gorgeous colors different sizes get smaller and smaller there's big ones just more big ones yeah okay I'm gonna put a couple more here and these yeah these are sample cards I think I got a few more of these these packs and then she gave me this paper oh my gosh there's a bunch of different papers. Look at this one. It's so pretty. I folded them in half because I will probably use something like this size for a cover, but look at this. Isn't this not gorgeous? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And this one. Look at that. So awesome. They're huge pieces too. And this, one, this one here is like tissue paper. So it's kind of green and it's got some black stuff going through it. And here, I should, just remind you, she got this all out of the garbage because someone was just throwing it away. Look at that. Beautiful. Looks like handmade paper. There's another piece. Some 
tissue paper. This is just, you know, I have it folded in half, so it's twice this big. Isn't that pretty with the gold going through it? These are all just so beautiful. And here's another one. This has got like a shimmer. I don't know if you can see it, but it's gorgeous. It looks like it's it's been painted. Because some of the paint went through, but I don't know how they get it to look like this. It's just gorgeous. Okay, here's some like mauve color with the brown. It's more of that green tissue. And here's some blue tissue with this silver, or is it gold? I can't really tell going through it. Another piece of those. And then, oh, you gotta look at these. Oh, these are gorgeous. <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay, look at this. Look at that. Is that like beautiful? Oh my gosh. It's so pretty. I need some more. Oh, there's two sheets. Is this one. And then this one. It's all glittery. Oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful. This is like purple and plum color. And this one's like a different type of purpley color. So pretty. And then there's one more. With these. This beautiful. And I have a whole other box of like stuff that is even bigger than this. I haven't even got to go through yet. But this is so pretty. I don't know how I'll use it all, but I may end up cutting some samples and um, doing a giveaway of some sort. Um, and then there's another, there's these magazines. Magazines right here with doilies. So some old, old uh, crochet patterns. I don't do this intricate of work, but these are so pretty. I mean, I could use them in my junk journals, right? I'm not really sure what the the date on these are, but oh look, Woolworths! <laughs> I used to shop at Woolworths with my grandma when I was little. Sold only at Woolworths stores. Wow, for crochet and embroidery work, it must be some sort of yarn or something. Oh, these are beautiful. So, if any of you ladies know how to crochet and want to make some of these things, <laughs> wow. I mean, we cut them up and use them in our books, but you can make them yourself with all these patterns. So I'll probably photocopy these and um, use the photocopies. I don't know what this is. Oh, I just did this chain this stitch here. What is this? Alice Brook Patterns, copyright 1946. 1946. Where are these ones from? J.P. Coates. That's a familiar name. Enjoy these. The pineapple print. Beautiful, beautiful. 1953. 1953. Looks like someone made some copies of some stuff here.
Well, that's my first haul. Like I said, I have a whole other big box to go through. But I just thought I'd share some of that with you guys, show you all the beautiful things I was blessed with. So maybe you'll see them in my upcoming journals. So stay tuned, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Have a blessed day.